Should you use rubbing alcohol to lower a fever? This is a really important video, guys. I want you to pay close attention. I also want you to share this with friends and family. I'm going to answer this question, but first, let me tell you what rubbing alcohol is. Um, by the way, it's something that most of us have in our medicine cabinet. We have it around the house. We use it for different things. It's sort of like a staple, right, that we have in our homes. Um, rubbing alcohol is often a combination of uh, a, a, a substance called isopropyl alcohol, uh, water, and maybe some other ingredients. Usually there's a percentage on the front, like say 70% isopropyl alcohol or something like that on your rubbing alcohol container. Uh, you can take a look to see, but that's often what, what it is. And what many people over the years have done is they've often used rubbing alcohol to lower fever. So you might say, well, how are, how are people doing this? Well, <clears throat> Some people have um, used rubbing alcohol like on a cotton swab or something like that or a cloth to rub the forehead or put a cloth on the forehead or maybe some other parts of the body uh, in efforts to lower a fever, okay? Um, now, you might say, well, why would people do this? Why do some people do this? Well, uh, think about how rubbing alcohol feels. If you've ever gotten a little bit on your hand or on your skin or whatever, whatever you're doing with it, you know it kind of evaporates quickly, right? And when it evaporates quickly, it sometimes actually leaves almost like a cooling feeling left on the skin. So let's get to the brass tacks and talk about if this is something that you should be doing. Um, the answer is unequivocally no. Unequivocally, absolutely not should rubbing alcohol be used to reduce a fever. And I'm going to tell you why. In fact, it can be not only uh, uh, dangerous, but it can actually be downright deadly. There are uh, case reports in the medical literature of people going into comas as a result of having used uh, rubbing alcohol or parents using rubbing alcohol on their kids' foreheads or their body to try to cool them down to try to lower their fever. And you might say, well, how? Wh wh what's the deal? Um, remember, um, rubbing alcohol we put on our skin, what happens is even though it evaporates, our skin still still absorbs it. The contents is going to be, to some degree, absorbed into the bloodstream. This is a big deal because this absorption in the bloodstream is literally what can cause poisoning uh, from the rubbing alcohol, can cause people to go into a coma. Uh, it can be very, very, very dangerous. Um, and, uh, and the other thing, too, is that it can be inhaled. You know how strong the smell is of rubbing alcohol? Yeah, that can be inhaled and also cause negative effects as well. You do not, nor should your family, nor should anyone you know, ever use rubbing alcohol to try to lower a fever. Rubbing alcohol on a cloth, on cotton balls, on whatever, on the forehead, on the belly, on any part of the body at all. It should not be inhaled, none of this. Your body is absorbing into the bloodstream those chemicals, and you could be, or your child, or whoever else you are using this on could actually be poisoned. I hope this is clear. Um, you know, my job as a family doctor is not only to educate and, and treat my patients, but to um, I also educate the public. This is a public service announcement. I do want you to share this video with other people. Let people know that this should not be done, should not be used. It can actually be deadly, okay? There are other ways to lower a fever, obviously, that are safe and effective. There are medications that can help lower a fever. Uh, make sure that you call your doctor to find out what you should be using, what your child should be using, etc. That's very important. Um, but guys, uh, take heed and take notice that rubbing alcohol should it be used to lower a fever, okay? I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. For those of you on Facebook, please like and follow my page. For those uh, of you who and stars. Thank you so much in advance. Also, uh, consider joining my subscription group, Dr. Jen Superstars, for uh, exclusive content. Guys, on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Uh, love y'all. Okay. Bye-bye.